So, what are you doing, man, now? Explain me. We have a plan. This plan consists in, in uh, giving free art for people. Uh, also, we put some stuff like acids in the glue. So, when people watch the heart, the paintings, and if they go next to the paintings, they smell the acids of the glue and they go wild that is our plan come on man why did you let me go this is my bed Ian, Lance from Toulouse, and Antti, my tattoo shop partner. I start, I start like, um, I start um, doing graffiti in 1997 more or less and uh, after like in 2000 uh, tattoo shop asked me, hey can you draw for me? The drawings for tattoo? Yes, yeah, yeah I can draw and uh, I draw the the, the drawings for the tattoo shop and they teach me how to tattoo 2000-2001 but in that, uh, in that uh, I didn't uh, I just work as a, a, a apprentice tattoo artist for one year and then I, I stopped I made a, a break and I start uh, I start uh, just painting I just paint the graffiti and then in 2007 I decide to restart tattooing. Uh, in fact, I'm an autodidact in everything because I never study arts. Well, I, I'm this kind of guy that if you like, do it. No, bad or, or wrong, do it. Don't make a, don't uh, don't uh, make excuse for not doing something because you didn't uh, have school or opportunities. You must create your opportunities. big big city but at the same time not not very small so I think it's the it's a, a, a town that uh, allows you to you know to do a lot of stuff and uh, without the need of uh, you know public transporta transportation for this to that part you can move by foot everywhere and uh, I also what I like I like in Porto is the old buildings it's a city with a lot of history and uh, you see the history in the streets. 
and uh, it gives you, gives me a lot of inspiration for creation. You know, it's really cool. cool. Hey, make is que tu aimes la bagarre parce que David c'est l'or et c'est ici. It destroy your fucking face, motherfucker. <laughs>